this is kind of a follow up to the other question you talked about just a minute ago is, you know, we wish our candidates had more literacy or were more willing to acknowledge what's going on. And, you know, we wish everyone was more educated and was just willing to do the right thing. In the absence of that, I know your organization has done a lot of work on sort of structural procedural recommendations. And I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about that, about kind of what does the budget process look like right yeah. now? What sort of things are fundamentally broken and how could we put those structures in place to give people the incentives to do the right things? Yeah, it's a good question. To me, the budget process is broken because the norms surrounding it are broken. The way it's supposed to work and the way it used to work is Congress comes together and they write a budget. And that budget was their actual plan for what they wanted to do over the Congress. And after it was passed, they tried to do that plan. They didn't always succeed in doing it. They often changed the plan midway, but they always tried to do that plan. And that was really important. That was, in some years, they got pretty damn close to almost exactly that plan. In other years, they got nothing done. But like, that was the North Star. Since, and I don't know if it's the exact year that it's broken down, you could say it was 1998 or 2005 or 2010. It's not exactly clear because it happened so gradually. But at some point, the budget instead became one of two things, a political document with make-believe numbers to just say, you know, we're balancing the budget or whatever, or a way to shortchange the process because the budget has special rules that allow you to implement some policies faster and basically avoid the filibuster. And so sometimes they pass budgets that don't actually have any budget in it, they just have the fast track rules. Uh, I, I, th that's not sustainable to me um, because you start, you can't budget without a budget. Um, I don't know how to say it other than that. You can't budget without a budget. And effectively, that's what we've been trying to do. And so we're going from leadership deal to leadership deal and crisis to crisis. And we're trying to solve everything you know, by threatening the full faith of credit in the US uh, dollar on the debt limit, which we shouldn't do. But also, there seems like there's no alternative to talk about the debt besides the debt limit. So we're in a bad place now. Now, I know you wanted me to tell you like, how we can get out of this bad place. And I wish I had great ideas. We have a lot of ideas. Um, but the ideas are, are things like changing the way we report the budget and changing some of the rules around um, how easy or hard it is to add to the deficit. They don't replace the need to like actually abide by the rules. And I don't know how to force politicians to abide by the rules other than to reinforce those, those norms. And I'm a little stuck in how we reinforce norms that are so far gone.